Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Em. In today's video, I'm going to share with you a simple flashcard app that you can use to review your exams or simply to memorize things. And this is called Kyoku Flashcards. So if you're interested, please keep on watching. Kyoku is a flashcard app compatible on your Apple devices, your MacBook, iPad, and iPhone. It is ready to use with your Apple Pencil if you're using an iPad and a pen tablet if you're on MacBook. It costs $2.99 or 149 Philippine Peso. So in this video, I'm going to show you how this app works on one MacBook, second iPad, and lastly on iPhone. Okay, so let's head on to our first Apple device which is the MacBook. When you open the Kyoku app, you will be directed in this homepage. So this is basically self-explanatory, minimalist, or a very straightforward app. So let's get acquainted with the icons. Up here is the sidebar view where you can see all the folders you created. Next is the settings or the preferences icon. You can change the app theme. We have the light, dark, or the systems theme. And then the support section where you can give feedback, report an issue, follow them on Twitter, or review the app. And then the privacy policy and the terms and conditions. And the version of the Kyoku app which is updated to version 1.34. Okay, so next is the edit tab. You cannot actually edit this Aldex folder because it's a default folder. So we need to add another folder by clicking this add a folder icon. Now let's try the edit tab again, so you can click here or right click on it to see the options. There's the option to review, rename, or delete your deck folders. The icon down here is for importing your other Kyoku files. Now let's create subfolders in the Korean folder. Just click the deck of cards up here and let's say for example the name is Greetings. You can also edit this by clicking this minus sign or right-clicking on it. The options are different from before, so we have the option to move it to a different folder. To create cards or flashcards, just click on the plus icon on the top right corner and you'll be directed here. So basically, this is a one-sized flashcard and it has the front and back side, so it's just the usual index card. You can change the style of your card by clicking this paintbrush icon. So I thought at first that it's to change color, but when I clicked on it, it's just for the style of the card. So we have the ruled, dotted, squared, blank, and the music sheet style. Now let's try to write some words in Hangul and at the back are the English translations. So if you're done on your first flashcard, you can click this plus icon right away for the next one you're going to create. And if you're completely done, you can click on save. The downside here in the MacBook version is you cannot change the color of your strokes even though there is the color options here, and you cannot adjust the thickness of the strokes. Another downside is there's no eraser tool, but you can click on undo instead. And there's also no lasso tool in the toolbar. The three dots icon here is for more preferences, so there's an option to change the default style of your cards and rename your deck. There's also an option to export your flashcards as image and PDF. And you can also back up your deck of cards. There's also the reset and delete options.
Moving on, you can also add image, but for some reason, I can't use this media icon. Fortunately, you can drag your photos from your folder instead. It automatically resize the photo for you and position it at the center of your card. You could also move the image by clicking and holding it for a second or two and move it wherever you want on your card. So if you want to replace the photo, you can overwrite it by dragging a new one. However, there is no option to delete the photo or erase the writing you made. You just have to delete this whole flashcard and create a new one. So now it's time to review all the flashcards we made. Just click the review button down here. So later on, I'll be explaining how the spaced repetition works. So let's go over with the other options first. You can study 10 random cards, 20 or 30 cards, or even study them all if you want to. There's also an option for the review direction of your cards. It can be from front to back, back to front, or both directions. And lastly, you can enable the shuffle cards. There are two ways on how you can review your flashcards. One is by saying it loud or just reviewing in your mind. And if you find it easy, just click the easy button here and so on. Another way to review is by writing it down in the draft section as seen in the video. This is actually helpful to remember word spelling. You can't actually save your answers in the draft section. So let's go back to the spaced repetition. Spaced repetition is a principle where cards are reviewed at increasing intervals. If say for example you have mixed result, some were easy, some were hard. So all the easy ones or those you answered correctly will be sent or promoted to the next box, which in this case is box 2. And those you find difficult or a little hard will stay on the previous group or box. So the same process will continue until you reach box 5. Kyoku flashcard is specifically made for iPad. It's basically the same with the Mac OS version except for some features which is solely for iPad alone. There's an additional option for your dominant hand in the preferences and the rest of the features are just the same with the MacBook version. Okay, so this part right here is a little different than the Mac OS version. So there's a toolbar where you can customize the thickness of the pen strokes. There's the highlighter tool, the chalk pen, eraser tool, the undo redo buttons. You can also customize the color of the strokes or use the eyedropper tool. So you can minimize or move around this toolbar around your workspace. There's also an option to write with your finger, and lastly, there's the ruler tool. In the iPad version, you can resize the inserted photo and move it around the card. You can also annotate the photo. For the more deck preferences icon, same options apply. So now I'll be creating a sample flashcards. Reviewing your flashcards on your iPad is just the same process with that of the MacBook version. To use 
use Kyoku flashcards on your iPhone, you need to back up all the deck of cards or some of it in your iCloud drive and import them on your iPhone for review only. By the way, I'm using the older version because I don't have enough storage in my phone. It says here that the Kyoku card in the iPhone is only a companion app to study. So you cannot actually create flashcards here. It's solely for reviewing your flashcards only. That's it guys. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and please do subscribe to my channel. See you on my next vlog. Peace.